Hey everybody, back here at Lift Arc Studios and we're here again with Peter Zila from HTP. And we are gonna do something today that I've been very excited to do for quite a while, which is weld some aluminum cans together. Well, you either can or you can't weld, so we'll see. That's for you guys. <laughs> I'm told this machine will make it to where I can. You wanna show I me sure how? I sure hope so, yeah. yeah. So where do you start on the machine side to dial in for something that thin, this kind of joint? So this kind of joint, last time I cut those apart a few years ago, the sidewall was about four thousandths. Down here, you got about 12 thousandths. Okay, so you got a little bit more meat. That's the trick then. There's a little more meat in the base yeah, of the can. Yeah, there's a little bit more meat in the base of the can, yes. Okay, all right. So on the new here, with the new menu and everything, where do you start? You gotta start here on the mode button. Work your way <laughs> from left to right. Take 2T pedal slider, select. Then you go to AC. Then I'm gonna go standard. And instead of picking the square wave with a bunch of penetration, that's very thin material, I don't need all that much. I'm gonna go to the soft wave. I'm gonna do soft wave on the positive and the negative half. High frequency start. Then I'm gonna set my starting amp, which is already down here at one amp. What I will do next is I will pick my hot start and set this to five amps. So you will see for a few milliseconds, a split, a split second, a few milliseconds, yeah. you'll see a five amp arc start tapering down to one amp. So at this point, you should be able to light the arc directly on the can, not with a lot of competitive machines. You have to light on the filler rod or on a, on a trailing part and then move into the joint right. because it just burns a hole in the can. You should be able to light up right on the can. That's pretty impressive, one amp. And um, on the... Right, so any fine tuning yeah, here? Yeah, here we can go, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the maximum pedal to 30. We shouldn't need all of that, we should need about 25-ish. Mm -hmm. 90 hertz, 70 the, on the balance. The balance I'm gonna set to, I didn't clean my can, I didn't really get the clear coat off or anything, and I didn't even scotch bright that can. I'm gonna give it a little bit more cleaning, like if we go 60, 65% electrode positive, that is 60% penetration, 40% cleaning. And then on the frequency, 100, 120, something to focus the arc, not to get carried away. And that should be a good starting parameter to get this done. Now, in the past, what I've seen, what other people do is, they clamp them together really tight, they have to ground every single can, with like a, connecting them with a ground wire that's also grounding to the table. We can put a little F-clamp on it real quick. Well, usually what I just do is, I do a little bit of blue painter's tape, I'm not like, not to get carried away. It's not like you're gonna sell those when we're done. Maybe. Would you guys buy them? Put, put them on eBay, no reserve. <laughs> oh, sure, yeah, that'll do it. There. I'll push it together. Like. And once the first tech is made, you can take it off anyways and then rotate the cans around and it's mm -hmm. gonna be Tiny little yep. gap, but that's, Tiny I mean, little that's gap. great. We're okay. And now, then 1 16 filler. Any tungsten prep? You want to grind this to a point, probably? Pretty fine point. Grind, you know what? How do you feel about that? Yeah, let's grind it, just, right. to, just sure. to set us up for success. Sure. So, of course, textbook would tell you that thickness you have to weld with an 040 tungsten. Oh, sure. I only use 332nd or 8th inch, so Same. I, I'm ignorant like Well, you that. can grind this to a long to a point, point and, and it just acts fine. like a 16th inch. Yeah, yeah exactly. And then of course, you always wanna have matching gloves without holes in them and long cuffs. Those are nice. Are those yeah. from the gardening shed? That's probably, <laughs> stole them out of my wife's she shed. Yeah. <laughs> HTP, make me look good. This here, 16th. Yeah, make, and take the end that's not blue. One end is painted blue. I was just gonna just cut it in half. Okay. Fresh end. And you're gonna do it? You wanna do can it? Can you see? No, you, should you can do, do it. Do, no, you can yeah. do it. Can you see good up close? Yeah. See, okay, good. See, I can't. That's why I have two and a half reading glasses. You should, so I, I would this. like to watch you. If this is something you can do, I'd like to watch you do this before I do it. Okay, I'll, I'll Honestly, do Honestly, if you're comfortable doing that. I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable uh, screwing this up all by myself. Great. Well, so am I. I just, it's your turn. <laughs> okay. Aaron and I are your students. Uh, any flow nah. requests? Wherever it's set up, it's just it's fine. It's so relaxing not to have to worry about gas flow anymore. Okay, Coke to seltzer. The, Coke to the, seltzer, The unholy yes. union. The unholy union. <laughs> <laughs> you want any uh, armrests, handrests? Nah. 
then I have nothing to blame it on if it doesn't work. Good point. <laughs> All right, here goes nothing. Not, not pretty, but no holes in it yet. Yeah. I gotta grind the tungsten for you again because I dipped it. That's okay. And somehow it felt it was still kind of hot on the, on the get go. Um. Oh, you know, <laughs> you know why it felt so hot? Why? Because we didn't adjust the zero crossing current. Oh, that was still Watch there. Watch this, the zero crossing current is still on auto. So this is why it's screwed all up. Jeez. Now watch, on 20, it's gonna be a lot quieter and a lot more stable. I'm gonna leave all the other settings the same. Back in the old days when you had dinosaurs roaming the earth and people used transformer machines, mm -hmm. you yeah. had a sine wave. Every time that the wave went through the zero line, it extinguished the arc, the high frequency immediately relit it. So you had to have continuous high frequency to weld AC. Mm. Once you had inverter machines and it was going through the, to, through the zero line on a 90 degree angle, you only needed high frequency or lift start to start the arc and then it would stay lit and maintain the arc without the need to relight it with continuous high frequency. Interesting. Before I make you a little drawing. Mm -hmm. So here's your zero line. And what happened right now when I welded, why I said it felt too hot. Normally, when you picture this, you picture it like this, right? Here's your, let's call this 60% electrode negative, your 40% electrode positive, and this is what your square wave looks like. And I used a, a soft wave, which the ears are kind of rounded off, mm -hmm. makes less noise, makes less heat input. But the, the part that goes through the zero line is still straight. But this is what you picture it normally. So what it really looks like in reality, if this is like a 20 amp, positive 20 amp, negative 20 amp, it really looks more like this. It goes up to 120, then it goes down to 20, then it does its thing at 20, then it goes up to 120, down to negative 120, mm. come back up to negative 20, be at negative 20, goes to 120 and goes back. So A, Welding 20 amps with this is, for obvious reasons, not exactly 20 amp, because even if this is 20 amp, but by the time you add this into it, you may see like 25 amps. Mm -hmm. And this makes the, the puddle very agitated, irritated, unstable. There is some high-speed camera footage out there on our video manual that shows you how the puddle is all jiggly. Mm -hmm. And if you match your zero-crossing current to 20 amps, and I'm welding at 20 amps, you really get this really nice, like you draw it up like this, mm. that's where it's at. Even if I weld at 25 amps and my zero crossing current is at 20 amps, so I have a piece of 20 amps here and a piece of 20 amps there, you know, before it goes to 25, I mean, close enough. Yeah, right. So now when you do this, it's gonna be a lot easier to control. It'll be quieter. It'll be less irritated and agitated where it was favoring one side more than the other. Yeah. That should all be mitigated to some degree by adjusting the zero crossing current and accordingly. Just, what was it set at before? It was set on auto. On auto, I believe it's 120. And you can adjust it from 20 to 80. Now, obviously, if you weld 170 amps, you can't do 20 because you don't have the proper arc stability. You don't right. need to do 20 because if it's at 120 on auto and you weld 170, you're fine. You're yeah. fine. But in these low amperages, that's really where you gain puddle stability, arc control, and everything goes so much smoother and flows so much nicer. What is wrong I can't with wait the camera? To try it. I have officially never done this before. Oh wow, it re really can just light up right on the can.
Wow! Cool! I'm welding cans! Oh, it looks so much nicer than what I did, too. Well, well you, that's you the were difference handicapped. between a professional yeah. welder and a junkyard welder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm welding cans! Now that I know what I'm looking for, I should be able to do this a little better. Wild. Wild. Well, I'm glad that your welds are turning out much better than mine, so it's not some video trick that the guy from HTP is good with his own machine. Oh, and yeah. Really? This makes me want to like do it again and just like really yeah, do the it perfect. Yeah, the whole thing around and make around. it perfect. Yeah. yeah. I just want to keep going. That looks good, man. Woo! That looks so consistent. Yeah. I'm that jealous now. Feels great. Yes. Yeah, I want to see what just straight up 4043 does. First try? First try? It'll work too. I hope. I'm not, no, no, I'm not concerned about it. It'll work. It's taken yeah, a lot. Yeah, shows you, shows you how the rock mount stuff flows nicer, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it takes, it's really hard. To, it was hard to start for, for mm -hmm. to start with, but then it really didn't want to flow. I could do it with this, but it would, God, I mean, look at the difference. Yeah, that's, that's pretty substantial. Jesus Christ, why would you ever weld with anything else? <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, that started cruising there for a minute. It's got a different texture. I mean, so that right there, they're right next to each other. That's the rock mount. And yeah. this is 40, 40, 43. Yeah, you see the 40, 43 is a little bit shinier, mm -hmm. a little bit more silvery. But you see it can be done with either one. Very much so. Rock mount, 40, 43. Uh, I can do better. I want to do a perfect bead all the way around. Well, you, you have enough time for that tomorrow. Oh yeah, I've got, oh, I've, I've just got forever. All so, right. I mean, it's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, you did pretty good. Thank you. I mean, I'm, that's what the machine can do with skilled hands, you know, not like <laughs> a junkyard welder like me. Well, it's a, you're, I'm sure, better than you're giving yourself credit for, but it's a, a real meet in the middle situation. Like, you should not rely on your equipment to make you look good, but if you can hone your skills and then get into a system that rewards you for your talent, then the, yeah, the, the net positive is enormous. And on the flip side, why would you want to fight it? And why would you want to fight every job if that's how you make a living? Why wouldn't you want something that is easy? Yeah. You know? There you go. I can't set it better myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that was can welding with uh, the HTP brand new Invertig 251DV ACDC. I'm Tay Whiteside. This is Peter Zila. Thank you so much. Thank man. you. We'll see you guys on the next one. USAWelds.com. Yeah, if you want to, if you want to see more welding, different things, more meat and potatoes settings, wires, a lot of wire welding, some stick welding, follow me on YouTube, Zila Welds. We're a, we're a subscriber. There you go. Good. <laughs> Subscribe to all of it. Just keep clicking that button. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. See you guys. Bye.